Hello. It's Aid from Orange again. So the other pedal we've got, the third of Harry's picture pedals, is the fur coat fuzz. It doesn't need to be written on it. If you can't see the fur coat, there's something wrong. Anyway, so what we've got here is loosely based on the Fox Tone machine, which was a fuzz from 1970, which had a real great characteristic and a great octave. You know? but the issue is with, with fuzzies like that, it was later cloned by a company called Prescription. Uh, they added a swirl feature to it. It's also a great pedal. And they also made the fuzz, the, the octave part of the fuzz switchable with your foot. But it's either flat out or it's off, the octave. So I painstakingly made it adjustable. So you can turn the octave down and just add a hair of it in with the fuzz, which actually is actually quite useful if you don't want it to go completely octave when you hit when you kick it in, you know. You just might want a hint of it in with the fuzz, you know, as kind of like a different flavour. Or you you know you might want to play rhythm with a, a hint of octave to get some kind of like messed up sort of tone that's kind of cool or different to what other people are getting. Uh, this engages the fuzz. This engages the octave here. Yeah? The fuzz has to be on for the octave to work. Yeah. When this is bypassed, this pedal is a true bypass. The reason this is true bypass, because I'd normally do buffered bypass on a design, is purely because vintage fuzz is better without a buffer in front of it. So you'd run this right at the start of the chain, you know, and it would be directly connected to your guitar and you'd put the tuner after this on your pedal board, you know, and other subsequent things. It's great running into the getaway driver here. That actually complements it really well. It's also great running into an amp with some hair on it, you know, because it takes on a fur coat quality when you do that. You know, it kind of puts what I call a dirty, smelly fur coat over every note, you know and uh, has a unique kind of vibe. You know? Something I always loved about those vintage fuzzies. Uh, it's got germanium diodes in there, like the originals. Uh, it's all single-ended circuitry. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you do put a buffer in front of this, it takes on more of the qualities of a distortion. You know, and but the octave will be really brutal if you buff it. Like really brutal, which might be what you want. You might be want some, something that's it, it insanely brutal. You know, uh, it's uh, you know, it's it's uh, it goes blue when it's in, and that blue gets red added as you kick the octave in. So if it's a purpley colour, you know you've got the octave engaged. Yeah. A battery will last a very long time in this particular pedal because of its single-ended circuitry. Is it draws very little current? You know, it draws about 10 million, 10 million amps, you know, uh, possibly even less. So it's one of those, you know, a Duracell will last a year in it kind of thing. And that's the fur coat fuzz.